Gina. In this video, I'll be talking about a clinical study described in microsurgical treatment of symptomatic sacral perineural cysts. So, perineural cysts are commonly known as tarlow cysts. And if you don't know what tarlow cysts are, they are lesions of the nerve root on the extradural component in the sacral region. In other words, they are cysts that are located on the nerve root near the lower region of your back. These cysts are filled with cerebral spinal fluid, which are clear fluids present in the central nervous system. Approximately 1.5 to 4.6% of the total population is estimated to have these cysts, but luckily most are not symptomatic. However, these tarlow cysts have the tendency to enlarge over time. As they enlarge, the tarlow cysts have the tendency to compress against bones, and this continuous exertion of pressure will erode bones as time progresses. The study reviewed records of 11 patients with symptomatic tarlow cysts who underwent microsurgical treatment at the Tongji Hospital from 1993 through 2006. In these surgeries, total or partial cystic wall removal was performed, um, remaining nerve sheath were imbricated when possible, and repair of local defect with muscle and fiber glue were performed. 82% of the patients experienced relief of their preoperative symptoms. However, one patient actually experienced worsening of bladder dysfunction after surgery. For those patients who experienced a relief in symptoms, their symptoms were not resolved. And the tarlosis reoccurrence were detected via magnetic resonance imaging. The sample size for the study was small, and further studies on tarlosis are needed to better understand this disease as well as make more conclusive statement regarding the effectiveness of this treatment. Nevertheless, based on this study, the majority of the patients did experience a relief from the surgery. It was concluded that microsurgical treatment yielded the best long-term resolution of patient symptoms to date and should be recommended to appropriately selected patients. Personally, I don't believe the study was controlled enough to make any conclusive statements. The time span of the study was very long, and within that 13 years, technologies could have improved the surgical methodologies, and complications of the study cases may not have been recorded in details. In that sense, the study may have been biased, and we have no way improving the legitimacy of these studies. Furthermore, all patients within the study had very different symptoms. Thus, it was difficult to tell if the surgery was effective only in treating those specific symptoms or if it was successful due to its ability to treat all symptoms, no matter what they may be. Although the study suggested that microsurgical treatment should be recommended to patients, but many experts disagree because surgeries may potentially damage nerves present in the cystic walls. Also, a leakage of the cerebral spinal fluid from the surgery may also cause headaches and other complications. I believe this study was a good reference, but you should really keep a keen eye when you read this study and make your own conclusion instead of believing in everything the paper tells you. So that is it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it.